What's up, YouTube? Aaron with Siegfried's Motorworks. On this episode of Behind the Bars, I'm going to be taking out this 2020 Royal Alloy GT150 for a test ride. But before we get into that part of the video, you're probably wondering if this is a video about the Royal Alloys. Why do you guys have your Stella here in the shot? Well, there's a good reason for that, and that's because that without the Stella, we wouldn't have the Royal Alloy. Because the Stella was Genuine's original scooter that had, you know, that really vintage look while having the modern reliability and performance that you expect when buying a new scooter in today's market. Unfortunately, the Stellas have been discontinued, but thankfully, Genuine brought us the Royal Alloy lineup. Now, what makes the Royal Alloy, specifically the GT150, so special to me is the fact that if you're looking at this scooter, you can see that this thing is really inspired by the older Lambrettas and really carries that vintage look across. I also like the fact that it has a metal body. So when you're touching the scooter, it truly also feels like those vintage scooters of yesterday. But this is almost like buying a resto mod. You're getting a vintage looking body with modern performance, modern suspension, modern brakes, LED lighting. You're getting a two year unlimited mile warranty if you're buying it on the new side. All in all, you're basically buying a vintage scooter but without the vintage scooter headaches. And to me, that's my kind of vintage scooter. <laughs> I, I, I'm not a headache guy. I like something that turn the key A to B, and that's exactly what the Royal Alloy is going to bring you. But at any rate, before we go, and we're going to be going to the ride video here in a second, click the like button. Leave a comment. We are thinking about doing a video comparing the Stellas to the Royal Alloys. Let us know if that's something that you would want to see. In addition, do all the fun YouTube stuff. Subscribe, the bell, yada, yada. Either way, next Wednesday, we'll see you guys on YouTube. And either way, let's get into this ride video. All right, as we get into the test ride portion of this Royal Alloy GT150 video. Snow on the ground, purple gloves. If you watch the videos, you know what that means. It means it is a brisk day here in February in Pennsylvania. But either way, we'll get through this one together. A couple of quick things as the Royal as we get down the road. 31 and a half inch seat height, 265 pound dry weight, 10.8 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. 8 foot-pound of torque at 6,000 RPM. Uh, these things have a 1.3 gallon fuel tank and a claimed 80 mile per gallon uh, fuel economy. Before we get on the ride video too, I just want to show you guys some more of those vintage features that we were talking about. Um, not necessarily the vintage features, I guess it's just the general features. Flip out pegs for the passenger there. You have this mm, suction cup. This I'm not a huge fan of, but I get why they did it. Suction cup seat that covers up your uh, locking gas cap there nice little storage rack on the back that comes standard in all the royal alloys you also have this glove box here that has all of your storage unless you add like a top case or something like that to the scooter another thing too that i really like about the royals that I don't know if a lot of people realize this. They just put their logo everywhere. Like they're on the CVT cover, Royal Alloy. This nice metal badging on the sides, Royal Alloy. On the grips, Royal Alloy. On the gauge cluster, Royal Alloy. And then also too on the front, I'll put a picture in of how this looks when it's dark out. But they have this nice LED light bar. It says Royal Alloy there as well. So cool features there that I'm a really big fan of. Another thing too, let me actually see if I can grab Kyle quick. So an, another feature that I like, as soon as I get Kyle out here, another feature I like, can you just pump the rear brake or any of the brakes for me? They have this really nice taillight as well. Um, big fan of that. It's just a different looking than just a standard big square bulb. So either way, thanks Kyle. All right, so let's get underway for this test ride video. Oh, that's another thing too. Jiffy stand and side stand for the Royal Alloys. Actually, before we even do that, this is the, one of the big gripes I have with Royal Alloy. They do have a kickstart, but you have to like have the fear of God in you the whole time that you're going to hit your your painted side panel there. So they have a kickstart, but it's kind of stupid where they have it, in my opinion. Either way, not a huge deal. So let's get started here and show you guys what this one is 
all about. Okay, as we head on down the road on this Royal Alloy GT150. Like we said there in the introduction of this scooter, this is a great option for people that love that vintage look that comes with owning like an older Vespa or an older Lambretta or just any of the old metal body scooters, but you don't want to have that headache. So as we get on down through here, like we talked about in the introduction back at the shop, the big selling point for the Royal Alloy is the fact that this is such a good looking vintage looking scooter. I mean, that is one thing that they really knocked out of the park on this one is just how old this scooter truly does look. I mean, most of the people, like when you're pulling these into like gas stations, or even when we have customers walk into the shop, nobody ever guesses that these are brand new scooters. They always think they're old scooters that are just in really, really good condition. So it's definitely a cool perk of owning one because like we said, you're getting that vintage feel. I mean, like when you're touching this, like it feels like a vintage scooter. It looks like a vintage scooter. It just doesn't perform like one. You have dual disc brakes. So stopping on this thing is an absolute breeze. You have all LED lighting, modern suspension. So riding down the road, this thing doesn't ride like it's from 40, 50 years ago. It only looks like it's from 40, 50 years ago. Oh, hit the horn there instead of the uh, <laughs> instead of the turn signal cancel. So when you're talking about the gauge cluster, like we mentioned there before, the gauge cluster is this thing is really nice. A, it's in a nice spot. It's easily seen out of the bottom of your line of sight. It's easily read, and it's a really nice, simple-looking cluster. I think this is one of the places that a lot of scooters miss their mark. Is their gauge clusters either they try to put too much on them or too little on them. This is the perfect balance. Tachometer, speedometer odometer a fuel gauge but this volt gauge genuine why the volt gauge it doesn't make any sense to me like i can understand why you might want one but i would much rather see a temp gauge there and then a volt gauge then a volt gauge like if i had to pick between the two that would be it, it just doesn't seem like a very good use of that gauge spot to me personally but to each their own either way as far as riding this thing down the road like i said modern this is basically like a resto mod you're buying an old body, old looking body with all modern stuff. And this is really what this is. Um, it brakes really nice. Like if we come up here and you know really pump on the brakes, says, oh my goodness, we're going too fast. Comes to a nice stop, brakes really confidently. And another feature, especially when you're talking about the brakes that the Royal Alloy has, that just especially you don't see on a lot of your scooters on the market is a linked braking system. So actually when you're applying this front brake, you're applying the rear brake and the front brake off the front brake. Now the rear brake only applies the rear. It's strictly just this front that's gonna apply both of them. So that's another cool feature that I like. It just makes it a nicer ride, makes it easier braking, and overall just gives you, the rider, a better experience. Now when it comes to Royal Alloys, I know I said 31 and a half inch seat height, and that's only an inch taller than like a Buddy or um, most of your scooters have a 30 to 30, 30 to 30 and a half inch. How do you say that? It has a 30 to 30.5 inch seat height. It's what you typically see on a scooter. Inch taller, it doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is. And part of that is due to the fact of how wide that scooter is when you're sitting on it. I do find that a lot of my shorter riders do struggle with this. Um, they, they come in wanting one and then they sit on it and they end up changing their mind. So I would say if you're under five foot 10, do you, and you're looking at a Royal Alloy, make sure you sit on one of these things before you buy it. Just to make sure you can flat foot it and you're gonna be comfortable on this scooter. Now we've said good, 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 good. Let's get into the bad. And truthfully, there's only one bad thing that I can say about the Royal Alloys. I forgot to cancel my turn signal there. So if we're gonna talk about the performance on this thing, that is really the only gripe I have with genuine or Royal Alloy in regards to the GT150 is the fact that it is not very strong in the performance sector. And now, er, sector, I should say. That's not saying this thing's worthless. Like this doesn't, this is definitely faster than like a 50cc scooter. My big complaint is that in comparison to other 150cc scooters, 
in the performance only market this is definitely lackluster in comparison to those but you're not buying a royal alloy for the performance you're not buying a royal alloy for the fuel economy you're buying a royal alloy because this is one of the coolest looking scooters that you can go buy brand new off a dealership's lot two year unlimited mile warranty is wild like it's just overall a really good buy as long as you're okay with a little bit slower performance and typically you know most people i would say are going to be all right with making that trade-off because the royal is such a fantastic looking scooter and truly has that vintage look either way as we pull this one back into the shop here i just want to go over a couple of final things with you guys as far as the royal alloys go fantastic job by genuine as far as making this thing look like a vintage scooter and then the day if you're in the market for a vintage scooter but you want something that's reliable the royal alloy gt150 is a great option for you again my only complaint with the gt150 is that they could be a little bit faster now genuine has released or will be releasing a fix for that and that's going to come in the royal alloy gt300 um but either way, when those come out, we will get ride videos on those. But at any rate, thank you so much for watching. If you can, smack the like button, hit subscribe, hit the bell, yada, yada, all that fun shit off YouTube. But leave a comment. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this video. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next Wednesday. Wait, 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 stop. Don't press fast forward. Don't hit any buttons. Just listen to what the man has to say and click all the damn buttons you want. What's up, YouTube? Aaron.